Okay, what about lack of trust? Uh, I remember George Burns, a comment he made years ago, he said, sincerity is everything, and if you can fake that, you've got it made. Well, trust is not the same thing. Uh, but um, I can see that being an issue, that you have to have the trust, in other words, for the succession to go smoothly. And trust comes in many forms, different forms, Kevin. It's a day-to-day -day trust in terms of how the accounts are managed and attention to details and those kinds of things. But trust, I think, in the big picture of succession planning is, can I trust you to manage well? Mm -hmm. And Mario Dumas, who's a, a CA from Howick, Quebec area that I've worked with, that's one of his key factors that he discusses every time. The biggest fear parents have is, can our children manage well and not lose everything in the next five years that we've worked so hard to build up? But if I'm 30 years old and and I've been farming with you for eight years. Mm -hmm. Is it not clear to you that I have that you've trained me well, or that I've learned from my college and I've learned from my peers, yeah. and that I can have the wisdom to do that? And are, are you leaving the country? No, <laughs> you can still be part of the wisdom. Yeah. And I think that's maybe another piece of trust: is is my wisdom and experience as the founding parent that I'm trying to share with you? Is that helpful, mm -hmm. or is that an irritant? Right. And I know in our family, um, my, my husband, bless him, he's been managing since, a gr since he was a young grad from college, from ag school, and um, his parents trusted him right to the nth degree, and there was never a question of mistrust. Uh, yeah. And there was never, I told you so either, or if there was, it was challenged. And trust is definitely something that is, is earned, and it's also something that has levels. I mean, and I, it can be built up. Right, and I, I, the difference between I trust you to tell the truth or you trust me to handle a million dollars of milk Quota. quarter. That's, those are two different, two different type of things. What about um, the issue? And I think I, I think a lot of us were raised this way to simply avoid conflict. It's it seems to be the smoothest, the smoothest way to do this. But that's got to be a barrier to, to doing this. You should this. add an Irish mother, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I I always tease people in my in my seminars that ah oh, let's just get a little Irish here, and no disrespect for the Irish, but um, I do have an Irish grandmother, great grandmother, <laughs> but. Patrick Lencioni's book on overcoming the five dysfunctions of a team, one of the huge th pieces is conflict resolution. And I am a graduate of conflict resolution and uh, believe very strongly. I send all my clients that I can to mediation services. So if you go to resolutionskills.ca and you're watching this in Manitoba, get yourself there yeah. for two days on handling difficult people. Because when you do conflict well, it's a strategy to manage your risk. So we get the bull in the middle of the table. We're hard on this problem, but we're soft on the person. Mm. And I say, just like toilet paper. <laughs> Should have put, you know, and that's, that's the key is, is those conflicts and not letting them get really, really big. Because the more, more energy you can put into solving the problem while it's this big, you'll have more options for solution rather than if you let time go by and it gets to be a massive, massive problem. Right. And then you know families are destroyed right. because the conflict over the estate or the conflict over ownership or the conflict over who gets how much. It becomes just disastrous, right. and I want I want I want success stories. I want to dwell on what's worked really well, and the families I work with, when they hold this in the family meeting, they say, Elaine, I just feel so much better now. Now I understand. Now I know what to expect. We'll be able to work this through. We probably have time for about one more here. Um, here's 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 I think we even started with this I guess at the top, and that is that the, uh, a barrier to this is that. It's a complicated process, this succession stuff, and I don't know where to begin. It's not complicated, Kevin. It's a, a myriad of problems and plans that need to just be dealt with one step at a time. Is life complicated? Your body's complicated. Does that stop you from going to the doctor? Right. No, because a doctor is an expert in knowing the, the complexity of your body. Mm -hmm. So let's take the complexity of succession and look at it as a process. We have a problem. We need to transfer labor. Okay, we've done that. We need to transfer management. Okay, our son or daughter's gone to ag school. We're learning new skills. We're doing some, we're intentionally training the next generation. The key next issue is ownership. Who's an expertise in ownership? Financial planners, your lawyer, your accountant, your coach, your team of advisors. And what I recommend is you go out and you get a binder, you make a tab, an insurance tab, 
a legal tab, a personal finance tab, a coaching communication conflict tab, for all the different components of that succession plan. And there's a whack of good information. Go to cafanet.com, C-A-F-A-Net.com, the Canadian Association of Farm Advisors. There's somebody near you that will help you. Well, what I recommend is that people uh, can go to the website and watch this again at agrivisiontv.com because there's a lot of detail there. Appreciate you joining us today, Elaine. You're welcome. Okay. This Ag Vision program is made possible through the generous support of Syngenta Seeds, NK brand. The results you need, the freedom to choose. And by Farms.com, Ag News, Market Prices, Ag Careers, and Farm Real Estate. You'll find it all at Farms.com. And by FarmCenter.com, it's the only farm management resource center you need. Finally today, a note about next week's program. Every year we recognize National Farm Safety Week in Canada, typically about the middle of March. As casualties decline in mining and construction industries, it can be difficult to demonstrate that safety has actually improved on the farm, even with advanced safety equipment and extensive education programs. The good news is there is a change in attitude towards safety on the farm, primarily with younger farmers. We'll also visit some farms and demonstrate ways to childproof your farm. Until then, have a safe farming week. <laughs>